two different games, obviously, but it seems like tonight had a lot of those feelings the last night did. You guys do pretty well in the first period, but really take away the second period. Is that how you saw things as well? You know, I think yesterday it seemed like Notre Dame started pretty well, and, and you know, we knew that they would be a, a difficult opponent, and, and um, I thought we matched it. And then tonight, it seemed like it was a really, really competitive game early. You know, guys were into the game. There was really no room for anybody out there to, to not get engaged in the in the game. So, uh, you know, the term that some I've heard some people use is there was a bunch of guys that got drew into that battle. And uh, very, I mean, a, a lot of physicality in the game and, and back and forth and, and that kind of stuff. So I, I was really, we were really, really proud of how competitive our guys were tonight because it was not an easy game to play in at all. One hundred percent, and that just goes to show you when things matter, and and you, you've got your attention, and you're, you're you're invested in the game, and you're engaged in that. You know, you're drawn into the fight. Um, you can do a lot of great things if you're willing to to, to you know compete. And uh, yeah, you, uh, there's a bunch of guys that have bumps and bruises, and you know, a bunch both teams blocking shots, both teams fiz finishing checks. Both teams competing really hard. And I, we knew going in that we felt like this would be a great weekend of college hockey, and obviously, you know, we, we certainly loved the results. But it was it was a great. There was a bunch of real good hockey being played out there this weekend. Obviously, the opening weekend of the season didn't go the way you guys planned. A little bit of a slow start to the season since then. You went five of, one five of six against nationally ranked teams. Obviously, you sweep the number five team this weekend. So, what does that say about the caliber of where this team is at? I think that that's a. Uh, you know, you, you, you got to try to be as positive as you can and, and look at the, you know, what, what, what's, what's great is that you can, we've got enough players in, in this program and, and people involved in this program that we can compete at the highest level. And, and you know, um, you guys know we've been trying to build this thing that way for, for a long time. And, and it's, it's, really, it's really great to see people involved in the program get to be a part of that, you know, at the national level and, and be, a, be a part of a program that, we all who, who care so much about this program believe is the expectation. And, uh, you know, to, so when we were, you know, we've been recruiting here for the last nine years, it's been about, hey, we we're going to get this thing back. We're going to do it the right way. We're going to compete. And our goal is to have 20 win seasons and, and be involved in conference championships and conference championship playoff, playoff championship games and NCAA tournaments. And, and I, I think with, with the, the results we've had, it certainly shows that that's, that's what we, we're capable of here. You know, the, 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 Difficult thing is to maintain that and, and, and compete like that regardless of the opponent. And we know that's very difficult. So the challenge for us as, as coaches and us as play and, and our players is, you know, everything's got to matter like it did this weekend. And if we can do that, I, I think we're all going to be really happy with the results. Well, you mentioned kind of the physicality the last time you played on this ice. That was kind of a prank you had with your team. Today, I mean, Notre Dame threw the first punch. They got the quick goal. They were hitting people, but you guys hit right back. And and answered everything Notre Dame had. Yeah, you know, different, different, you know, t last night Casey Lincoln held makes a big play and we score the first goal. You know, tonight we get a couple penalties early and, and we're, that's not really a recipe for success. And uh, they score a power play goal, but we, we didn't, we stayed with it. We kept going, we, we kept our composure and, and uh, yeah, it was uh, really physical, really physical game and, and get two really good teams, uh, you know, so. You've been pretty outspoken about the recent play of, of Adam Perry. That was a, a big time play. I mean, I, I want to see it on on video, but man, you know, really good shift by the by the entire line, and then and then the, the, there's the turnover, and then there's a loose puck, and he just doesn't. You know, a lot of times you think a, a kid in against Notre Dame a, as a freshman might just you know panic and throw that puck at the net on his backhand, but he kept it. He makes a move, walks around him. It was, it was a big time goal. So really, really nice to see Adam rewarded for that. You had trouble scoring goals last night. Well, you scored five against Lake State, of course, Coach. What's the difference between the games you had where you struggled to score goals and putting five on the board against Notre Dame both nights? The offense, we can talk all day long about Dobb and his performance, but the offense really seems to have come alive, certainly. Yeah, if you, if you score five goals a night, you're going to give yourself a chance for sure. Um, 
I, I don't know. I think we were opportunistic. You know, we had we had a bunch of guys score. You know, a bunch of names on the score sheet. You know, obviously getting getting you know Alex scores and and Brandon Cruz gets one each game and Casey Lincoln held scores and and Cameron Wright and Matt, I mean we had a bunch of guys involved in the offense, which is how this team has been built. You know, we want to play four lines and we want to you know get a bunch of people involved. We don't want to be reliant on one group of players. Uh, I think both power play units scored goals um, last night. They did. Uh, did we had uh, Cameron Wright scored? I don't know if we scored another. Did we? Did we get another power play? I don't, I don't know if the first, I don't know if Rauhauser's group scored. But anyway, so we we were involved in the both power play units were going, um, and and all the lines were creating opportunities, and it's great to see because that's what we've been consistently trying to to reinforce in practice and to see because again when you do it in practice it's not always the same you know no one's cheering for you no one you know there's not four thousand people in the building and and that kind of stuff. And so when you get a chance to do it in a game and then and then guys take advantage of those opportunities, it's great to see. Talk about, about that tonight, the atmosphere, Coach. Obviously, students aren't here uh, with the Thanksgiving break, but you had a pretty full house. Yeah, I thought the, the building was awesome. Um, Doc Wojo, who's been around here for, this is his 40th year, he came in and he got here probably a half an hour early and he's like, the line is way out there. It looks like it's going to be a big crowd tonight. So uh, anything Doc says, I believe, and he was right. So it was it was a really good crowd. Really happy to see the, the number of people in the building. And as you guys know, it's a, it's a, it's an electric building. It's a fun building. And we had a great atmosphere last night at, in South Bend at Compton Family Ice Arena. And you know tonight was no different. That, that that's our version of of, of that. And and you know really loud people into it. And, and hopefully the people that maybe have been were new to it. Um, enjoyed it and want to come back uh, the next time we play. How much did you guys maybe try to uh, build some momentum off of the, the review of what seemed like the review? Um, just because after that, it seemed like you guys really kind of controlled the play after that, that had things you know, knocked on the way. Yeah, you know, there's, there's, there's all kinds of little plays and games that I, I, I don't know if you necessarily realize during the game that that's a big play and, and could be a, a, a turning point. You know, you go back to the, like the Mankato series when Dot makes a save at two to nothing to keep it from two nothing to three nothing. And then you look at, you know, a, a play here or there tonight. Um, you know, they, they had some good chances early. You know, last night we, we got a stick on a puck the very first shift. That, that didn't turn into a scoring chance, but if we don't get our stick on the puck, it could be in the back of the net, and now we're down 1-0, 18 seconds into the game. So there's all kinds of little plays in the game, so that's certainly a, a situation where it worked out for us, and we, we you build on it, and you know whether it's a, a block shot that can get momentum or a penalty kill or a or just an effort play that a guy makes, a guys recognize that and notice that. And, and one of the things that I was we were most happy with is our guys were, were genuinely invested in the game and they were pulling for each other. They wanted to see the guy who's out there have success. They wanted to, the guys that blocked shots, they heard about it when they got back to the bench and the guys that won wall battles, you know, heard about it when they got back to the bench and the guys that made good plays, everybody was, was into it. So that's, that's when you've got everybody pulling the rope the same way and everybody wanting everybody else to have success, that's, that's, a, that's a, a fun part, to, fun team to be around. You mentioned multiple times this year how difficult it is to win two in a row for you guys to do that this weekend against a team of Notre Dame's caliber, is that about as perfect of a weekend as you guys can have? Yeah, I, I, again, it's 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 one of those things we want to just continue to keep putting ourselves in a position to have these opportunities so we're continue to play really well on, on Friday night and, and put yourself in a position to win on Saturday you know one of the things um, we talked about a little bit today was we've been really good on the road this year playing against some some really quality teams on the road and and now we got to return you know this should be a difficult place to play and we know this is a difficult place to play and and it's it we can control how difficult it is by how we play, and, and so uh, it was a difficult place tonight. And, and uh, getting a chance to, to put yourself in a position to sweep a team like Notre Dame, um, and then to be able to, f to finish it off and close it out is is, is a tremendous, uh, tremendous job by our guys. I mean, they just they just it's it's a real credit to how hard they played all weekend.